Welcome everyone back to Mario Masters Coliseum and your host of Family Feud, Grand Food Bear. Hey, welcome everybody, welcome everybody. How's everyone doing here today? We got a, we got a great game of Family Feud going on here today. We have the Kardashian family over here. Uh, going against them, we got the O'Doyle family over here. Let's get our first two contestants right up here right away. Let's get, let's get on. Can we grab a yes? You guys know the rules. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a, a question. 100 people have been surveyed. You have to find the highest answer. First one to buzz gets the answer first. Round one. I'm scared of those nails. About to, like, dig out of my hand. Don't be scared of her nails. She's, she's good to go. Round one. If an angry dog came after you, what would you do? Fiend. Pet it. <laughs> do we? Do, do we see pet it? Oh wait. Oh, okay, me. <laughs> that means Kardashians. You got to play or pass. Oh, we're playing. Oh, they're gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. Actually, I think you guys had to have to answer one first before you play. But still, we'll, we'll do that next turn. All right. How you doing today? I couldn't resist. Peachy. And uh, what's your name? Tofu. 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 Tofu, if an angry dog came after you, what would you do? If the dog came after me? Yes. Run. Great answer. Run. Yeah, run, you guys like run? <laughs> do we see run? Ding, we do yeah. see run. It's the number one answer with 36 points. Run, walk away. The number one answer. All right. Right here. Let's go. What's your name? Uh, I'm Chris. Hello. <laughs> Chris, you seem a little nervous. You ever been on TV before? And uh, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, then a professional. I was wrong. If an angry dog came after you, Chris, what would you do? Am I, am I allowed to? Uh, uh, no. 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 Um, kick him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I don't. I mean, I don't know if I I would kick him. I mean, I'm not a dog kicker myself, but <laughs> survey says. Ding! You actually yeah. kick him. That's a number three answer with fourteen. Yeah. Kick slash fight him. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? What's your name here, ma'am? My name's George. George, George, looking good today, might I say? Oh God. George, <laughs> Vinegar Dog came a came after you. What would you do? I would feed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's angry, not hungry. You know that, right? That's a good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Survey says <clears throat> two strikes. Two strikes. We need we need a right answer here. You guys got on, two points. We need a right answer here. You What's your name, sir? Bailstream. Wait. Oh, one strike. One strike. Sorry. One strike. Sorry. I apologize. One strike. One strike. Can't can't count today. You know, been <laughs> having uncles uh hitting the uncle's closet if you know what I mean. <laughs> Y'all don't know what that means. What's your name, sir? Failstream. Failstream. That's an interesting name. I'm assuming your mama didn't give you that. Uh, Failstream, an angry dog came after you. What would you do? Uh, scream. Scream. Oh. That's a good answer. Scream. Survey says, ding, scream. That is going to be your number four answer with eight points. Eight points. We got, uh, looks like two more answers on the board. There was five total answers. Got two more answers on the board. All right. Back to you, sir. What was your name? Sorry, I didn't get it early. Orator. Oh, sounds sexy, if I might say. Yeah. Orator. Angry dog came after you. What would you do? Throw something at it. I mean, it's similar to the fight, fight him earlier in the kick him answer, but uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and ask it. Survey says. All right, we got two strikes. We're gonna need a correct answer right here. We're gonna need a correct answer. Double tofu. If an angry dog came after you a second time, what would you do? <laughs> so Yell hard. for help? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yell for help. I mean, that nobody nobody even thought about asking someone else if they'd be around. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Yell for Help. Survey says 
It's our number four answer. Yeah. Or sorry, three answers. We already said that scream. Yeah. Oh, scream kick. Oh no, you already said scream. Then we already had scream. No, no, sorry, the next. Sorry, you get the next. I lied. I lied. All right. All right, the Odoya family. You can steal right now. I'm gonna need a correct answer. You can confer. You can confer with your family right now. It's time to steal. All right, Odoya. What do you think? All right, what would Odoya family? What would you do? If a dog attacked you. Now, after consulting the family, we've decided that we would hide <laughs> from the dog. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to our judges here. <laughs> Big I think we got one. Are any of those, would you say any of those qualify as hide? No. That's gonna be uh, no. the Kardashians are gonna take that round. How many points do they get there? Uh, that poo is fifty-eight points. Fifty-eight points for the Kardashians right there, round one. Job, All right, give me tofu and beast. Give me tofu and beast right up. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Let's go to the other answers. Our number one answer was run, walk away with thirty-six response. Our number two answer, stand still. With 24 response. It's not a bear, yeah, people. That's, not what I was that's where you go, stand no. still. What? Number three no. answer was kick and fight him. Number four answer was scream. Our number five answer, jump on something. Oh. No. Oh. That's when you guys repeat the answer. Like everyone, oh. Listen, y'all. All right, let's get, let's get Beast of Tofu right here on the pencil. Reminder, all the points are worth double this round. No, 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 no. All the points are worth double. <laughs> all right. Yeah, round two. Right. We've surveyed 100 real people <laughs> before this event. <laughs> if a baby didn't want his mother leaving the house, name something he might try hiding. Whoa, whoa, okay. Her keys. Her keys. Survey says that's the number one answer with 80 points. Yeah. 80 yeah. points. Yeah. You guys gonna play or pass? We wanna, we wanna play. You wanna play? We wanna play. We wanna play. We're going over to the Odell, Odoyle family. What was the question? <laughs> What's your name, pretty lady? My name is Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn. You got any kids in the house? Absolutely, we got our boy here. It's <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't, I don't know what it was about being around your mom that made your voice so high all of a sudden, but you might want to get that fixed before high school. Um, if a baby don't want his mother leaving the house, Evelyn, name something he might try hiding in his diaper. The poopies. <laughs> the, the boobies. <laughs> uh, survey says that's our number four answer. Actually, five points. Five points. Our number four answer. The poo poo. The poo poo. They're gonna hide that poop. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next contestant over here, sir. What is your name? My name is Jordan. Jordan. How are you related to all these folks? I'm a uh, I'm a cousin. Sure, y'all all cousins, it seems like. <laughs> if a baby didn't want his mother leaving the house, name something he might try hiding in his diaper. Her driver's license. Oh, oh. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. The survey says, yes, her driver's license. That's going to be our third best answer with six what? purse slash driver's license. Hey. Hey, I don't make the rules. I, I don't, I'm not the survey. Y'all need to take it up with Yo, Kardashians, take it up with the survey, okay? What's your name, sir? Billy. Actually, that one makes sense. <laughs> but baby didn't want his mother leaving the house. Name something he might try hiding in his diaper. Now, if I were a baby, I would hide her shoes. Good answer. Good answer. Can't go anywhere without your shoes, right? I don't leave anywhere without my shoes or at least a nice pair of uh, Gucci slippers. <laughs> not on there. Oh, not, on there. not on there. Not on there. Not on there. All right. What was your name again, Miss? My name is Ron, sir. <laughs> well, that that one threw me for a loop. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but baby didn't want his mother leaving the house. Name it something he might try hiding in his. Oh, I, okay. I, in his diaper. Her makeup. 
Her makeup. Oh. Don't Good leave the house answer. without her makeup. Good Don't leave the house without her makeup. Survey says, <clears throat> it's 2018. Women can leave the house without their makeup now. Get with it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go back over to Jimmy. Jimmy, if a baby didn't want his mother leaving the house, name something he might try hiding in his diaper. Need an answer. Need a correct answer right here, or the Kardashians will have a chance to steal. Uh, come on, you got this. Her car. <laughs> Good answer. I mean, I'm <laughs> Billy looked a little worried in the background. <laughs> that show. Y'all get ready to steal, okay? <laughs> Survey says. <clears throat> Car. I don't. I mean, I guess if you only been playing with Hot Wheels, that might make sense for you, but. All right. I'll give you time to give you all a chance to confer right here. How many answers missing? We've got uh, two, two answers. Two answers missing. Two answers missing. The number two and number five answer are missing. Okay, okay, okay. If a baby did not want his mother leaving the house, name something he might try hiding in his diaper. Cell phone. Okay, hold on. Before you answer, before y'all answer this, this game wasn't made in 2018, actually. <laughs> so like, this game was made in like 1992. Y'all want to reconfer? I'll give y'all a chance to reconfer. I just want to, I just want to be realistic about this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this has Steve Harvey on. It's at least like 2000. Zero. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll give you guys. We're gonna need an answer. Oh, her jewelry. Can't leave the house without a wedding ring. I know I wouldn't want my wife doing it. Survey says, and points go over here to those yeah! girls. Oh, no rules! Our number two answer, what would a baby hide in their diaper? A pacifier. Pacifier. Why does she need I, I, You know what? Yeah. They just say it out loud She's back so to fun. everything. And then our number five answer, the bus pass. Bus, bus pass. pass. <laughs> it's a different, yeah, rough neighborhood. How smart is this baby? All right, all right, all right. We got round three coming up. We got round three coming up, ladies and gentlemen. What's our score right now? Let's go to uh, Spike Vegeta. Uh, currently, uh, the Kardashians sitting there at 58 points from round one. And the, uh, the That family is sitting at 90 points from that round two victory. So, uh, all right, let me get Chris and Evelyn up to the stage right now. We got our we got our third round, our make and break round. All points are worth triple here in the third round. Oh shit! Both hands on the box, please. Both hands on the box. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, Chris. If a husband and wife had cosmetic surgery, name a body part they could have fixed. Yeah, go ahead. We got them nose. Oh, oh. Survey says. Nose is the number one answer with 43. Would you like to play or pass? Would you like to play or pass? We're going to play that. They're going to play. They're going to play. Evelyn knows about that cosmetic surgery right now. Didn't even let me finish the question. Didn't even let me finish the full question. That's all right. They got it right now. Let's go back here. I'm sorry, sir, again. What was your name? Jarden. 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 With it, just J R R is I'm assuming you spell that. Uh, the husband and wife had cosmetic surgery. Name a body part they could have fixed that they both have. Their tummies. Their tummies. Their tummies. Y'all like that answer? Do I see stomach? Is the number two answer? Twenty four. Billy here, if a husband and wife had cosmetic surgery, name a body part they could have fixed that they both have. Breasts. <laughs> Good answer! Good answer! I mean, I suppose that's true. They both could have that. Uh, survey says... Yeah, yeah then, then it's a... Ah, this is 1991. 
<laughs> I think it's about 99, actually, is where we're at. All right, there. Ron. Husband and wife had cosmetic surgery. Name a body part they could have fixed that they both have. Their chins. Oh, their chins. Their chins. No. Got to get those chins fixed. Could have some turkey neck, uh, some of that nature. Let's go to the survey. Survey says our number four answer, facelift. Facelift is the number four answer. How many points is that? Six points. Six points. Face, facelift. How much was Tommy's? Uh, 24. Sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you, bitch. I just assumed you could read my mind. We have, we have such a connection. <laughs> yeah. I know. All right. Round three here. Jimmy, points are triple. This is a very important answer. If a husband and wife had cosmetic surgery, name a body part they could have fixed that they both have. Well, I'm embarrassed to say this in front of both my parents, but I'm going to say their booty. Good <laughs> 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 Oh, Jimmy. Oh. Oh, oh Jimmy. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that in front of my mom. She slapped me silly. But, uh, survey, do we see booty? Ding, it's the, it's the fifth answer. They're butt. Four points. Four points for the butt. Four points for the butt. For the butt. Four points for the butt. Um, looking like one more answer left, I believe. The number three answer. Yep, that is. We're looking for the number three answer right now, Evelyn. No strikes. Family's killing it. This is for all the marbles. This is a play for fast money for fifty thousand imaginary dollars, or ones that will get donated here today for the charity. Evelyn, if a husband and wife had cosmetic surgery, name a body part they could have fixed that they both have. Well, if you can't tell, we both look so youthful. I'm gonna say them wrinkles. Oh, the wrinkles. The wrinkles. Want to get your wrinkles done? Do I see wrinkles? <clears throat> Do not see wrinkles. I think that might be the same as like the, the chin facelift, though, and according to our survey. All right, all right, here, Jordan. 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 Okay. If a husband and wife had cosmetic Jordan, cosmetic surgery, name a body part they could have fixed that they both have. I'll say, uh, getting a tan. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer, Good answer Steve. Have you ever visited a doctor before? We don't got health care yet. Show We're working on it. We're working on it. Steve Harvey has to do nothing on this show. Billy, this is for all the money. Oh. Or Kardashians could steal, and they will be going to fast all money. Right. Billy, I'm looking for surgery, cosmetic surgery on a body part that a husband and wife. Oh, that's already three exits. Oh, that's three exits? Was it an X or was it a ding? Oh, no, that was an X. Oh, that was 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 three X's? That was three X's? Oh, sorry. Sorry, no, Kardashians do have a chance to steal right now. I apologize. I can't count to my three X's. I I was just so amazed. I mean, this man is 35 years old. And he thinks getting a tan is a surgical operation. <laughs> Kardashians, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need an answer. All right, we're gonna go with teeth. Oh, their teeth. Their teeth. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. However, it's wrong. No, no, they're gonna be the ones winning. They actually went with their eyes. Their eyes. Laser surgery. Laser surgery. Hey, it's elective, man. Don't. Wait, you mean like laser? Hey, I, I, that's. 1982. 
I don't, I don't know. Hey guys, I'm sorry. This game was No, in Yeah, I'm sorry. They had they had eye surgery in '92. Don't know what to tell you. I don't know. They had eye surgery. Late, they had eye surgery in '92, y'all. Could be a Canadian thing. I don't know. Anyway, we got Fast Money coming up. I need two players. Who's gonna play here in Fast Money? Okay, I'm gonna need one. I'm gonna need one of y'all to go outside. I'm gonna need one of y'all to go outside, upstairs, somewhere where you cannot hear. I need. Uh, I would actually go outside. Outside? outside. Yeah, outside. Yeah, like, go down the. the yeah. <laughs> Plug your ears. We'll call, we'll call you know what? I told y'all we should have gone to Allen. Plug all your mean. ears. <laughs> what a waste of time. Come on, you know how, All right, Jimmy, how you feeling here today? I'm a, I'm a little feeling pretty good. I'm a little nervous though. A little nervous. Well, your family has a lot of faith in you, Jimmy. Um, and uh, after seeing your Uncle Jordan, I get it why. I mean, <laughs> definitely the smartest man in your family. That's <laughs> my boy. All right. <laughs> you know how fast money works, Jimmy? I do not. Could you remind me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, we've surveyed 100 people. I'm going to ask you five questions here. And uh, you just got to give me your answer to each one. We're going to write that down. Uh, same thing's going to happen with your uh, mom, Evelyn. And, and uh, we're going to see how many points you get. How many points do they need to win? How many? Uh, 200. 200. When oh, you get two 200 is the total points. The oh, there's 30 seconds, I believe. 30 seconds. We'll, we'll put the 40 because of the way this is. Yeah, well, okay. uh, <laughs> we might as well just give him a minute, honestly, because I'm I'm gonna read a little bit slow. All right, all right. Your minute is gonna start as soon as I'm done reading the first question. Name a place where you've used a lot of excuses. Uh, school. And name a place where you try to fall asleep, but someone usually talks your ear off. Uh, <laughs> work. <laughs> name a place you'd hate to find toenail clippings. Uh, in the kitchen. <laughs> name a popular place for couples to make out. Uh, the beach. Name a professional <laughs> sports team named after a bird. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays. All right, all right, all right. There you go, there you go, there you go. Got to answer. answers. Right. If we could bring back Evelyn here, if we, if we could bring back Evelyn. Dude, well, you, get the, you get the points first, don't you? Yeah, you show no, the points first. Oh, do you yeah, show his points first? You're giving the points. Oh, okay, first, okay, and okay. Then they okay, okay, sorry. We're not going to bring in Evelyn. All right, your first answer. Name a place where you have used a lot of excuses. You said? School. School. That's your number two answer with 21 right. points right there. And name a place where you try to fall asleep, but someone usually talks your ear off. You said? Work. Work. <laughs> it's going to be your number six answer with six points right there. Okay, yeah. Name a place you'd hate to find toenail clippings. You said? Kitchen. Kitchen. That's going to be your number one answer with 46 right, points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That would be a terrible place. Name name a name a place where you'd hate to or where you'd hate to find toenail clippings. Yeah, yeah, yeah kitchen. You said kitchen. Oh, that we did that one. Oh, wait. <laughs> name a popular place for couples to make out. You said beach. Beach. That's gonna be your number three answer with nine points. Okay. Yeah. All right. Name a professional sports team named after a bird. You said. I wrote down Toronto BJ. Oh, that is your number three answer with seven points. Seven yeah. points. Uh, that means they got 67 plus uh, 74, 83, 89 points, 89 points, 89 points, they need a lot of points here coming up. You ready right now? Evelyn, all right. Evelyn, you know how this, you know how this round works? You know how this round works? All right. I'm going to give you five questions. We surveyed 100 people. You got to give me your best answers. They cannot be the same answers as your son, Jimmy, over here. Evelyn. I real quick. I will. I will and if you say what he said. Yeah. Okay. Evelyn, uh, the time will start as soon as I'm done reading the first question. Name a place where you have used a lot of excuses. School. Another place. Work. Name a place where you try to fall asleep, but someone usually talks your ear off. Um, I'm going to go that salon. Name a place you'd hate to find toenail clippings. In my food. And same thing as kitchen. Oh, um, I'm gonna say my bathroom. Name a popular place for couples to make out. I'm sorry. What was the 
Name a popular place for couples to make out. I'm going to say uh, that mm, the movie theater. Name a professional sports team named after a bird. The Cardinals. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. We got fast money. Stay up here, Evelyn. Stay up here, Evelyn. Oh. It's going to determine whether y'all are walking away with fi- uh, 5000 fictional dollars or not. Papa Bliss. <laughs> fictional. All right. Name a place where you use a lot of excuses. You said? Work. Work. That's your number one answer with 53 points. Oh, yeah. Good answer. Good answer. I put you at 142. Oh. You get to 200 to win. Name a, place, name a place where you try to fall asleep but someone usually talks your ear off. You said? Salon. And Salon is not on the board right now. Salon is not on the board. What was the number one answer? Uh, number one answer was in bed, number two, living room or couch. Name a place where you'd hate to find toenail clippings. You said? Bathroom. Bathroom. That's your number three answer with nine points right there. Your number three answer with nine points. All right, all right. Uh, name a popular place for couples to make out. You said? Movie theater. Movie theater. That's your number two answer with 30 points. That's your number two answer with 30 points. 181 points. You need 19 to win. Let's go, let's go. Car was number one with 31. Uh, let's go right here. Name a professional sports team named after a bird. You said? St. Louis Cardinals. We didn't need the city, but we appreciate it. <laughs> All Cardinals. 19 points. And you're a winner. Our survey, it's your number two answer. It's worth 20 points, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! They won the bonus round. Welcome back, everyone, to Mario Masters Coliseum, and with your host of Family Feud, Grand Pooh Bear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got round two coming up right here. We got two new, two new families with new family names that they're about to give me right here. Let's get our first two contestants right up. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Name a country known for its great athletes. Smash it. Smash it. Oh, let's go. U.S. U.S. what? That's, we don't need that. I don't. I will have you kicked off my show, sir. That's our number one answer of 59 points. You guys going to play or pass? Play. They're going to play. We're going to play. They're going to play. They're going to play right there. All right. Number one answer, 59 points, United States. It's okay. All right. What's your name, miss? Wait, what's your family name now? The Odashians. Uh, I'm Evelyn. (laughs) Original. All right, let's name a country known for its great athletes. I'm gonna have to say Brazil. 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 A lot of soccer players down in Brazil, right? A lot of soccer players. Brazil. Y'all think it's a good answer? Do I see? Survey says Brazil. So, hey, I, I like Ronaldinho, too. Okay, all right. Move, move, all right, move, sir. Move, sir, move, order. Yeah. Name a country known for its great athletes. Let's say Germany. 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 West or East. Good Germany. answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Do I see Germany? It's our number three answer there with eight points. Eight Woo! points. Woo! We got one X, one answer. Looking for three more answers. Tofu, name a country known for its great athletes. Mother Russia. Oh. Mother Russia. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. If it's not on there, they probably hacked it in there. Do I see Russia? Number two with the 12 points. Number two with 12 points. All right, we got two more answers on the board, our bottom two answers. Chrism, you like that Germany answer I saw earlier. Can't answer that. What is your answer? What country is known for its great athletes? I'm going to go with China. Yeah. Oh. China. China. Billion people, a lot, of, a lot of athletes over there. Do I see China? Ding, it's our number four answer with five points. Two strikes, one answer. Left fail stream. I'm looking for our country known for great athletes. I'll go with uh, Italy. 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 They want some World Cups, right? <laughs> Do I see Italy? Yeah. <laughs> We do not see Italy. All right, Evelyn, back As to you. Italian, I'm offended. Back to you, Evelyn. Are you are you well traveled, Evelyn? Of course. Yeah, you've been to a lot of countries. Um, 
I'm going to have to pass on that. <laughs> All right. What country then is known for its great athletes? I'm going to have to say Canada. Canada. Yeah, Canada. They have, they have, they have hockey. Do I see Canada? <laughs> oh, well, three strikes. Uh, yeah. Two by three strikes? You were that was three strikes. That was three strikes. All right, we got it. What's your family name? Flim Flam. Flim Flam, Flim Flam family. You got a chance to steal. Go ahead and converse. What country is known for its great athletes? 100 people surveyed. All right, I'm going to need an answer. I'm going to need an answer right here. I'm going to need an answer. Kenya? Kenya, be on the board. Do I see Kenya? It's our number five answer, actually. Here's our number five answer. I'm going to need two more players coming up right here to the stage. Get on. That's crazy. How many players? Oh, I'm with the smartest. He's playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Get up there, Flynn. We got Evelyn. Flynn. 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 <laughs> good ace! Good ace! Good ace! You know, I'm gonna converse with our judges actually. I'm gonna give it to you. That's the number one answer. Queen of Egypt. Queen of Egypt. I'm gonna give it. The, ju the judges gave it to her. The judges gave it to her, alright? What was that number one answer? Queen of Egypt. Oh, okay. The judges gave it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Order. I, that's oh, sorry. Forty points. Forty points. Order. I noticed you have a cardigan on. You know, cardigan. Cardigan men are generally well read. You like history? Uh, not, not a big history buff. Now, you know about Cleopatra at all? Little. Uh, we're gonna about to find out. Name something you might know. Or you, you know then about Cleopatra? She had a thing with Caesar. Get the loots with Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What can, I don't know what kind of movies are. I think you're is that Wolf of, Wolf of Egypt. You know what I mean? Do I see Caesar on there? <laughs> Caesar's not on there. That's one X right there. All right, Noble Tofu. You a big you a big a uh, big history buff there? No. Cool. Name something people know about Cleopatra. She was hot. Because it was Egypt. She was. I mean, it was Egypt. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I mean, I, okay. You know what I mean? Hot. Ladies and gentlemen, do people know that Cleopatra was hot? That's our number two answer. Beauty. What? Beauty is our number two answer. And how many points? 31. 31 points. 31? Hey, Chrism. Chrism, uh, you're, you're from across the pond. I, I, do y'all do y'all know a lot about Cleopatra? Did you study her at all? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you know about Cleopatra? He's dead. We're <laughs> 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 really gonna have to confer dead. with my judges here. We're really gonna have to confer with my judges. Um, <laughs> you're a genius. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah. Give it to me, please. <laughs> we confer with our judges. Our number three answer, is, we're going to give it to him. It's suicide and snake bite. It's, it's yeah. giving it to him. Oh, boom. The judges are feeling lenient. All right. All right. We got two. Close. Yeah, let's go, uh, Failstream. Something you know about Cleopatra. Uh, she was a woman. Well, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. That's a good answer, I right, better. I don't know if I don't know if these people know how this game works. <laughs> Who am I working with? <laughs> Let's go to the survey. Survey says, "Show me woman." <laughs> Is that three, two, two, two? We need an answer. We need an answer, or uh, Flim Flam's gonna have a chance to steal. Oh, sorry, Evelyn. Evelyn, name. Tell me something people know about Cleopatra. She had a wig. 
not true. That's true. I'm going by the movies. I'm sorry. The movies. Hey, you know, the movies and the movies are true. This could be a $50,000 answer. Let's go to the survey. Show me wig. Do not have it. All right. Do you have to get all of them right now? All right. Team Flynn Flynn. Cleopatra. One of the most famous famous women in history. Team Flynn Flynn. What can you tell me about Cleopatra that people know? She liked cats. She liked cats. She liked Good cats. Answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. She I liked the kitty. I'm that confident in them. For a lot of points right here. Double points. Show me cats. And... All right, I need my round three players up here. I need my round three. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. The number number four answer. She knew Mark Antony. And our number five answer. She was a seductress. Again, this game was made a little bit earlier. Don't know if we would say that anymore. But she did. I mean, uh, yeah, the lose. The lose was not on here. That was our number number six answer. We don't go that far. Let's go to round three. I need my round three players up here. I need my round three players. All right, round three players. Hands on the box, please. Hands on the box. We asked 100 married men. Name something you get every single Valentine's Day. Whoa, whoa. Order. Sex. Whoa! 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 I thought this was a family show. My kids are watching. All right. I don't even know how they were watching. Do I? Whoa! TOS right here. I'm going to go to the survey. Do I see sex? It's our number two answer. Yay! Kisses or love. The 18 points. We got to we give Dode a chance, though. Can you get our number one answer, Dode? Uh, my name is actually no. Flurm Flim Flam. Flurm Flim Flam. Absolutely. What? Name something you get every single Valentine's Day. Uh, so you never know when it's going to be. So I'm going to have to say it's a box of chocolates. Box of chocolates. <laughs> Show me chocolates. It's number four. Number four with nine points. Number four with nine points. Order's gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna choose to play right now. All right. Wait, wait. They get the presents from their. Wife. No, no, no. Yeah, they they get the presents. Well, I mean, I don't know. Who they're getting the presents from. I, they, they didn't. Have, that's not. That's not. That's not specified who they're getting the presents from. That's just a hundred married men. I don't know who they're getting presents from. Let me ask you something. Tofu, you married? No. No. Got a girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. You guys celebrate Valentine's Day? Yes. Absolutely. So you you know this. The wolf. We asked 100 married men, name something you get every single Valentine's Day. Flowers. Okay. Yeah. Your wife buys you flowers. Your girlfriend buys you flowers? Oh, me flowers. Yeah, name something you get every single Valentine's Day. No, no, you already answered. You already answered. All right, ladies and gentlemen, show me flowers. It's number three, actually. It's number three. 15 points. 15 points right there. We need number one. And, oh, there's actually six answers in this oh, one. one five, Wait, six. seven. Seven answers. Sorry, there's five, seven, seven answers. Seven. seven answers in this wow. one. Yeah, seven oh, answers. So. Man, yeah, yeah men, I mean, men be getting a lot now, you know, 2018 or 2002, whenever this game was made. Chrism, you got a girlfriend? Uh, no. You looking? Mm, yeah. Hey, ladies, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> <laughs> If you did have a girlfriend, name something you would get every single Valentine's Day. Well, I mean, assuming you were a married man, name something you would get every single Valentine's Day. Um, get nervous because all the ladies yeah, watching exactly, out there. Exactly. Um, oh, uh, home cooking. Oh, oh good answer. Tell you right now, I'd like some home cooking for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah honey, when I get home. <laughs> Do I see home cooking? No. I tell you, that'd be a good one, though. I, uh, nothing wrong with some good old home cooking. Ladies out there, and no, nothing wrong with that. Fail stream. Nope. Fail stream. You married here? Wolf, you get. I am not. Scat. You're not. All right. Well, we asked 100 married men, team. name something you get every single Valentine's Day. I'm going to say uh, Valentine's card. Oh, oh. Valentine's oh. card. Good, good answer. Good answer. Card. Good All right. Answer. Let's, uh, let's go to the survey. Good Show me answer. card. Card is our number one answer with 42 wow. points. Whoa. 42 Good points. Yeah. Tell you what, a lot of a lot of women out there getting getting cards. Maybe I got 42 women getting cards, only 18 getting love. 
Like the only one. Same ladies. What hundred grandfathers were pulled about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, Evelyn, Evelyn, you got you married? Um, pretend yes. Oh, pretend yes. Pretend yes. <laughs> Not awkward. Doe doesn't look awkward at all. Who's <laughs> Doe? <laughs> this got really awkward. <laughs> Anyway, name something you get every single Valentine's Day. I'd have to go with them. Clogney. You mean like man, man smelly? Man yeah. smells? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh Show me cologne. Yeah, it's our number six answer with three points. All right. So order, order. I've, you know what? I, I've, I've seen you now for two Mario Masters Coliseums. Get a lot of donations from the ladies. I will say. You, you, uh, you ever celebrated some uh, Valentine's Day? Never. 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 You, you know what? You hit me up this year. I got you. I got you, boo. Well, name something that uh, uh, you know, maybe, maybe your married friends get every single Valentine's Day. All right, let's uh, get in some new clothes on Valentine's Day. Show me new clothes. It's our number seven answer, actually. Oh. Ty, Ty, yeah, it's our number seven answer. Do we have one more. Or two more. Um, how many? One more. One more. Number five. Last on there. Okay. Number five. No, you know what? You know what? I'm looking at it right now. And you got you said home cooking. You said home cooking. You know what? I, I'm, I was wrong. Dinner is on there, actually. Oh! I was completely wrong. They just got them all. You know what? That's that's my fault. I apologize, Flim Flam. I apologize. I Flim Flammed y'all. I, I touched y'all in the Lord. Walk away. But the good news is, the good news is, I'm going to give y'all a nice parting prize. You're all invited to the open beta of crowd control. So go ahead. Get great, great prize. Great, great prize. Needs to say, our family over here is going to be he going to Fast Money. I need two players for this team. Uh, who has the I know. I feel. I feel very dumb right there. I. You know, it's hard being the host and keeping track of the the survey. Yeah. I apologize. I apologize. That was that was my fault. I'm I'm your host. I got. Well, you know, two jobs in this case, but I, I failed, Joe. I, I apologize. I'm going to need you two players right now. I'm going to need you two players. Let me go first. Okay. I'm going to need you to step outside order. All right. We're, we're going to get five questions. Uh, 100 people were surveyed for each of these questions. You need to score 200 points as a team total to win. This is fast money. Uh, the timer starts once I uh, finish reading the first question. Name something sailors get tattooed on their arms. Dragons. An anchor. Name something that people get dismissed from. Dragons. School. Name something that shy people are embarrassed to do in front of others. Peeing. <laughs> Name something that some people absolutely can't get throughout the day with, or can't get through the day without. Couch or coffee. Name something that's been in your refrigerator for over a year. Dragon. Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like Chris killed that. I'm just gonna... all, right, all, right, all right, all right, let's go back. Let's go back. Name something some sailors get tattooed on their arms. Anchor. Survey says that's our number one answer. Forty-one points. Forty-one points right there. Yeah. Name something that people get dismissed from. You said school. That's our number one answer. Forty-eight points right there. Forty-eight points right there. A great start. Name something that shy people are embarrassed to do in front of others. Peeing. <laughs> this this experience for you? I don't know, man. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen you pee in front of me. I gotta admit that. That's uh not on the board. Not on the board. Not on the board. You get a zero for that. Name something that people absolutely can't get throughout the day or can't get through the day without. You said coffee. Coffee. That's our number one answer. 50 points right there. Name something that's been in your refrigerator for over a year. You said mayonnaise. Mayo. That's not on the board. That's a big oh. fat zero right there. How, still a really, good round. really good round, though. Really good round. How many points do they got right there? Uh, there's 139 points. 139 points. You're only going to need 61 points. We'll round it up to 69 points just to be 
Nice. All right, all right. Yeah. Literally all of them. Let's get, yeah. let's get the uh, patriarch of the family in here, Oratar. Oratar. I got to admit, Chris, Chris had a great round. He's got 139 points right now. Nice. He only needs 61 to get the big money. Okay. All right. Let's do it. You know how fast money works, right? I do. All right. If uh, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear Spike Vegeta give you an X if you uh, answer the same thing as uh, your friend Chris. Okay. Timer starts after I read the first question. Name something some sailors get tattooed on their arms. An anchor. Uh, and barbed wire. Name something that people get dismissed from. A job. Name something that shy people are embarrassed to do in front of others. Speak. Name something that some people absolutely can't get through the day without. Coffee. Uh, pass. Pass. Name something that's been in your refrigerator for over a year. Uh, <laughs> milk. Name something that some people absolutely can't get through the day without. Cheese. Um, tea. Tea. All right, tea. 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 Yay. 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 You know, you know, pressured him. You know, pressured him. That was good. You know, pressured him. They need, they need 61 points. They need 61 points. They need 61 points right here. All right, name something that sailors get tattooed on their arms. You said barbed wire. Barbed wire. That's gonna be a eh, not barbed wire. Number one was anchor. Number two was mom. Number three, girlfriend or wife's name. Name something that people get dismissed from. You said job. That's a number three answer. 15 points right there. 15 points. Yeah. 154. 154 points. Name something that shy people are embarrassed to do in front of others. You said speak. Speak. That's our number one answer. 36 points. 36 points. How about you 190? 190. They need 10 more points. Name, <laughs> name something that some people absolutely can't get through the day without. You said... T. T. He said cheese. T. T. Unfortunately, that is not on here. Cheese. That is not on here. Uh, cigarettes was your number two with 16. Water number uh, number three with 11. Coffee, caffeine. Uh, coffee was your number one. 50 points. Name something that's been in your refrigerator for over a year. You said... Come on, milk. Milk. <gasps> milk in your refrigerator for a year? Yeah, you just forget about it. You know how stinky <laughs> that gets? <laughs> No, nah. I use my milk. Well, then what are you That's going to be a big... Eh, they did not get it. Oh. Number one was baking soda. Number two, light bulbs. Baking Number three, soda. ice cubes. Light bulbs? <laughs> you have a light bulb in your fridge, oh, do you not? Hey, that's what it is. There it is. Don't worry, you're going to go home with a great part, uh, parting prize, too. You guys get to go to Mario Masters Coliseum, day three, starting tomorrow. <laughs> You guys don't forget to come. Oh, I just want to say thank you all so much.